Guys, if anybody can beat Shrat in Crash Royale, he will give you 100 bucks. Flex a 100? Shrat, you don't mess around. Nope. Good morning, guys. Today is officially the day. It's the start of finals. I legit have my first final in like 40 minutes. Am I a little bit nervous? Yes, but that happens for every test. My first final, which I'm taking today, is on stats, which is probably gonna be like the easiest final I ever take. Hypothesis testing, T test, Z test, all that type of stuff. Even though I go to UF now, I still gotta rep the U. I don't know why, but like people think I'm a traitor. Like every time I'm at Wharf, like in Miami, Everybody's like, Danny, you're a traitor. How can you leave us? I'm like, guys, like, I just had to do this for my future. But the plan for this morning is go to the library, do like a really, really quick review cram session, and then just go to the exam room and take the final. Yo, straight up, I don't know what it is, but whenever I take an exam that's worth like a bunch of points, it just feels like I ran a marathon. When I'm taking an exam, like physically, my body is just like sitting down. I'm just like writing, whatever. But like in my head, my brain is working like 20 times harder, figuring out everything, trying to get everything all right, freaking out, getting anxious, getting paranoid. And that takes a lot of power and it really, really wears you down. After any exam, I like to treat myself and usually what I do is I go out, go crazy, but I can't do that because I still have like two finals, so I gotta like stay really focused. Instead, I decided to treat myself with this 10 out of 10 Poke Bowl. This thing is just like massive. Let's see, salmon, tuna, and shrimp. Love it. That stats exam was not so bad. I feel like I knew everything that was on the test, but I never just like to like jump to conclusions. People will be like, Danny, like what did you think you got on the test? And I'm like, bro, like I straight up don't know. I don't have the result yet. But now that stats is completely out of my life, I still have two finals to go, chem and bio. Chem two, I've been attacking, like literally attacking since the semester started. In gen chem one, I got a C, so I told myself this semester that I cannot f around and get another C or even a B. I need to get an A in Gen Chem 2. Guys, if anybody can beat Shrat in Crash Royale, he will give you 100 bucks. Flex a 100? Shrat, you don't mess around. Nope. Are you good at like Crash Royale or no? Yeah, pretty good. The sad thing about dedicating your afternoon to studying in the library is that just look at the day. It's so nice, blue sky. As soon as I like stop studying and leave the library, it's just gonna be pitch black. What gets me going through days like this is knowing that in like, I think five days, I'll be back in Miami. I haven't really talked about it too much because I'm like so busy with finals and all these exams, but I think like the biggest adjustment that I had when like I came here to Gaines was just like living alone, not having my parents, not having any friends. Like not gonna lie, it does get lonely sometimes. The biggest things that I keep in the back of my head whenever I'm like, oh, you know, I'm feeling lonely, I'm feeling sad, whatever is just realizing why I came here and realizing that by me being here, I'm getting closer to reaching my goals. So what I'm trying to get to in this motivational midnight talk is that if you're feeling distracted, lonely, whatever it is, just realize that whatever you're doing will reach you closer to your goals. Was that motivational enough? Like, what do you think? I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I literally have bags under my eyes just because of how tired I am from like staring at the screen and staying up so late. I am calling it a night. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to stay up to date on my weekly uploads. That is it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.